I have gone over all of my pencil lines and I've even come back and erased any pencil lines that I may have missed or any of those guidelines that I used while drawing out the proportions of my face. My next step is I have a whole bunch of different supplies. So I have some colored pencils, I have some oil pastels, I have some markers. I may use any of these supplies that I would like to color in my face. However, I need to work monochromatic. That means one color. So I'm going to use the color purple. So I'm going to get out my purple colored pencil, um, a purple crayon, and some purple oil pastels. Now here are some things that we need to think about. Oil pastel needs to go last. Oil pastel will go over, over any other supply. Okay. Marker needs to go first. So if I'm going to do any marker work, just like my Sharpie, I need to do that first. Okay. So I'm going to color my whole face purple with some of these different supplies. I think I'm going to use some uh, colored pencil for my hair. Okay. Now when I am using colored pencil or even oil pastel, what's really cool is I can change the value, the values, the lights and darks, two different ways. One way is by pressing harder. So if I add or press just a little bit harder with my colored pencil, I can make that color darker. If I press really lightly, my colored pencil will be light. So I can add value or lights and darks by adding pressure, also by going over an area multiple times. So I've gone over this area once, twice, three times, four times to make that a little bit darker. So colored pencil is really good for adding value. Okay, now like I said, marker must come first. So if I'm going to use marker, like I think I'm going to use marker for my irises, that's the colored part, okay? I need to add that first. So I'm going to add in that marker. If I'm going to be using oil pastels, that all comes last. So maybe I add a little bit of dark lines with my colored pencil to make some hair. Okay, I need to do that after I've colored everything with colored pencil. You are going to color just with one color, ladies and gentlemen, and you're going to try to make some different values. I have colored my whole self-portrait with all sorts of different art mediums of one color. When I colored with colored pencil in with my hair, I made sure that I followed all in one direction. When I colored with the oil pastel on my face, I even turned it on its side like this so I can make big marks really quickly and fill in my whole face. So you might even experiment with how you use the medium or the tool. Some of them you might turn to the side, some of them you might hold up and down like normal. It's up to you artists. Experiment with how you use these mediums, okay, these art tools, and only use one color, monochromatic. Remember, I'm not painting in the background yet or coloring in the background yet. I'm just coloring in my face. All right, I can't wait to see how your monochromatic portraits turn out.